Dr. Fauci, whether intentional or not, you became so powerful that any disagreements the public had with you were forbidden and censored on social and most legacy media time and time again. This is why so many Americans became so angry, because this was fundamentally un-American. If I make a mistake, I answer to the people of Ohio who elected me and to my own conscience. When you and your agency made mistakes, Dr. Fauci, what happened? We all need to be held accountable. Sometimes it's as simple as saying we were wrong. Why did you allow your office to be unaccountable to the American people? You were the highest paid person. You took the position that you presented the science. Your words came across to so many people as final, final and as infallible in matters <laughs> pertaining to the pandemic. But such rigid demands of an ideologically diverse people like Americans, shattered public trust in American health institutions. Because I said so has never been good enough for Americans, and it never will be. It's built into the American spirit. We have a thirst for information, a drive for advancement. You, I would now like to recognize Ranking Member Ruiz for the purpose of making an opening statement. And what we have found is the following. Dr. Fauci did not fund research through the Echo Health Alliance grant that caused the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Fauci did not lie about gain and function research in Wuhan, China. And Dr. Fauci did not orchestrate a campaign to suppress the lab leak theory. After 15 months, the select subcommittee still does not possess a shred of evidence to substantiate these extreme allegations that Republicans have levied against Dr. Fauci for nearly four years. Over the past 15 months, the select subcommittee has poured over more than 425,000. With the darkest days of the COVID-19 pandemic behind us, Thanks to the Biden administration's leadership, we are now faced with a crisis of declining confidence in the very science and public health interventions that lifted our society from one of the most challenging periods in our nation's history. And as we look to the future, we find ourselves at a fork in the road. We can go down the path of fueling mistrust in the interventions that saved us, like vaccines, masking, and social distancing, and the public health officials like Dr. Fauci, who work tirelessly and with extremely limited and evolving information about a novel virus to save lives during one of the greatest crises of our time. Or we can work constructively on the forward-looking policies and solutions that we know are necessary to prevent and better prepare us for the public health threats that are yet to come. And chief medical advisor to President Joe Biden from 2021. It was decided that several participants would more carefully examine the genomic sequence. After this further examination, several who at first were concerned about lab manipulation became convinced that the virus was not deliberately manipulated. They concluded that the most likely scenario was a spillover from an animal reservoir, although they still kept an open mind. They appropriately published their opinion in the peer-reviewed literature. I participated in a conference call the next day with about a dozen international virologists. The accusation being circulated that I influenced these scientists to change their minds by bribing them with millions of dollars in grant money is absolutely false and simply preposterous. I had no input into the content of the published paper. The second issue is a false accusation that I tried to cover up the possibility that the virus originated from a lab. In fact, the truth is exactly the opposite. I now quote from an email that I sent to Professor Farrar. It was decided that several participants would more carefully examine the genomic sequence. After this further examination, several who at first were concerned about lab manipulation became convinced that the virus was not deliberately manipulated. They concluded that the most likely scenario was a spillover from an animal reservoir, although they still kept an open mind. They appropriately published their opinion in the peer-reviewed literature. It is important to point out for the record that despite his title, 
sector. Finally, in a majority staff memorandum of May 22nd, 2024, there is a statement, quote, Dr. Fauci may have conducted official business via personal email, unquote. Let me state for the record that to the best of my knowledge, I have never conducted official business using my personal email. Thank you for listening. I would be happy to address these and any other issues in the discussion.